This is the tutorial on how to use the uh, finger position templates for the fiddle. Now they're available in the uh, four sizes, uh, general sizes that we use, which is the full size, three quarter, half size, and the quarter size. Now uh, make sure you, when you print it off that it's printed in uh, full size rather than fit to page or scaled, as we need these dimensions to be correct. Now you can double check once you printed it off. They all do have a reference mark from the last one from the nut to the last line and we can check that distance there and if that's correct when you've printed it then you're good to go. So I'm going to cut this one out and then I'll show you how we use it. Here's my template already cut out. Now the, make sure that this line here is very accurate and you cut carefully around the rest of the template here. I fold it along these dotted lines. Now if I slide underneath the strings I can slide it towards the nut which is just this little ridge at the top. Now if I hold it in position with the folds over the edge of the fingerboard you can take this in position here or you can just hold it. Now I've not quite done it here but this center line needs to be in the middle here so we know we've got it straight. Now if I get a pencil I'm just going to mark either side quite carefully in the middle of these lines. Try and be as accurate as you can. Now I would be a little bit more accurate but I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes. Now we're going to remove this and grab our tape. I've got some cut already. I'm going to slide it underneath the strings, slide it across to the top one and put it right in the middle and bend it over. Now we can do this for all of them. Underneath, these probably could do with being just a touch longer, right in the middle and press it down. And we can do the next ones here. Now remember this is just a guide so you can start to hit the right notes and get a feel for the sound and where the finger should be. So I suggest keep it on for a few weeks till you've learnt a tune or two and then try and trust your ears and your hearing and distinguish between the different tones in between each finger. And there we have it, our first finger position, second finger, our alternate second finger, third finger and then our fourth finger positions. Now just remember the tape you use is quite important, I've got insulation tape here which when you take off won't leave the fingerboard too sticky. So Try not to use tape or any industrial tape that will end up uh, possibly damaging the fingerboard. So once you have that a go, make sure you can test the notes, make sure you've got them in the right place, and then keep practicing.